I share the concerns of civil rights advocates and others I've heard from in recent months about these state laws. I strongly support those efforts to contest these laws in court and to invest significant resources into these states to better organize and stop efforts to restrict access at the ballot box. And I strongly support and will continue to vote for legislative responses to address these state laws, including the Freedom to Vote Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act that the Senate is currently considering. I support these bills because they strengthen Americans' access to the ballot box and they better ensure that Americans' votes are counted fairly. It is through elections that Americans make their voices heard, select their representatives, and guide the future of our countries and our community. These bills help treat the symptoms of the disease, but they do not fully address the disease itself. And while I continue to support these bills, I will not support separate actions that worsen the underlying disease of division infecting our country. The debate over the Senate 60 vote threshold shines a light on our broader challenges. There's no need for me to restate my long-standing support for the 60 vote threshold to pass legislation. And there's no need for me to restate its role protecting our country from wild reversals in federal policy. It is a view I've held during my years serving in both the U.S. House and the Senate, and it is the view I continue to hold. It is the belief that I have shared many times in public settings and in private settings.